Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're taking a look at these, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel number two. What is up everyone and welcome back to Ford Runs. How are we all doing people? Let me know in the comments and while you're down there, tell me, do you feel like a rebel? Sometimes maybe you feel a little bit rebellious. Let me know in the comments. Put a hands up emoji in the comments below if sometimes you like to be a bit of a rebel. Stuff like you wear your left sock on your right foot, that kind of thing. Let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested. Actually also, another thing for you. Do you have these already? If you do, give me a score rating down in the comments, out of 10, what you think about the shoe already. Be very interested to know. And I will dive down into the comments once this video drops and check out what you guys are saying. Right, so anyway, we are here with the Fuel Cell Rebel 2. I didn't have version one. Um, I don't know why I never got version one. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because uh, we're gonna be looking at version two today. I'm very excited about this shoe uh, to tell you about it because it's a lightweight, up-tempo daily trainer, and that for me this year, I think is the story of 2021. Awesome up-tempo daily trainers. There's been some great shoes out already. Think about, you know, Hoka, Mac 4, that sort of thing. But this is out. Is it any good? We're gonna, this video, we're gonna find out. But before we do all that, we're gonna do the stats and features, so let's get stuck in. Right, so, where do we start? Okay, firstly, weight. We've got Mrs. Forty Scales here. Uh, she's out at the moment, so let's put them on a flat surface. Now, this is a UK nine and a half. Uh, it is fitting true to size-ish. It is a snugger fit than some of the other New Balance shoes out there, I would say. I think it's the way it's sculpted in, uh, but I kind of dig it. Uh, and in particular, this time of year, I'm wearing a slightly thinner sock. If I was wearing this in the, let's say, winter time, I may have had to go up to a size UK 10. So bear that in mind, but this is a UK 9.5, and for me, it's fitting true to size. Right, so we're gonna go grams first, 215 grams, and then we're gonna do ounces, if I don't break it like I usually do, 7.55 ounces. Now that's a UK 9.5, so that is nice and light. I like the lightness, and we'll come on to that in a minute. So we've got the very, very up-tempo, energy return fuel cell midsole in this shoe, which I have to say is awesome. I'm really kicking it. The shoe is 120 pounds. Uh, we've got a new engineered mesh upper. We've got this deconstructed heel, deconstructed even heel counter, which is all there for extra support. Uh, molded collar um, fo with foam, so obviously adding a nice bit of comfort at the rear. We've got this, uh, I think it's called Endurance Rubber Outsole, I'll show you in a, sec, uh, in a sec. And then we've got six mil drop, done the weight, and I told you about the fit. Okay, that's that. Right, so, uh, as I say, it's comfortable around here. I've just added the right amount of foam. Sometimes with these more up-tempo daily trainers, they lose a bit of the foam, but they've got the right amount in there. I really like the tongue. Uh, it's like a thin, racier tongue, and it's quite wide, look at that, but it just fits across your foot. Uh, nice seat. The lacing's perfect in terms of sizing. It is slightly interesting, the lack of sort of eyelets there. Uh, if you notice, there's no like hole there for a runner's knot, so, just bear that in mind if you like to do a runner's knot and really lock them down. There is no, um, well, you could put your own in, I suppose. You'd get a drill, maybe, hole punch, stick it in there. Uh, but there is no knot for that, but I've had no issues in terms of heel slippage and all that stuff. Oh, and by the way, 
This is a first impressions video. I probably should have mentioned it at the start. First impressions video, so just the three runs so far, people, uh, in this shoe, and we will come back, do a performance review. Uh, we'll get it into, you know, more of the training, more of the weekly runs, all that sort of stuff, and then we'll report back. But anyway, uh, this I just wanted to say that. And, and we like all the shoes on 40 runs. They're either sent in, uh, loaned to us, or I buy it myself. So anyway, so you're up to speed. Right, so where was I? Um, so yeah, so we've got this um, lightweight engineered mesh up, which is nice. You've got the overlays on the top, the tongue I've spoken about, uh, the outsole. So we've got this, what did I say? It was endurance, I think it was called. Let me know. Yeah, endurance rubber outsole which uh, you've got like four pieces. This is like one bit and uh, down the canal toe pass, no problem. On the roads, no problem. And even on grass, I was going across grass as well. No issues. You've got exposed midsole there, which hasn't had any lumps or bumps taken out of it like the old Zoom X does. Uh, so that's still intact, which is awesome news. And what else, what else, what else? Uh, I don't think the tongue is gusseted. No, it's not. And that's about it, I think, in terms of stats and features and what is going on with the new shoe. Right, so let's talk about how it feels, where it fits into my rotation, all that sort of stuff. Next. Right, so up-tempo daily trainer people, nice and lightweight. You can do pretty much everything in this shoe, which is awesome. Um, you can do fast 5K, easy 5K. You could even do a half marathon. Marathon if you're crazy enough to do it in it, but it can literally do everything, which is what we want from a daily trainer. But as an up-tempo one, what I mean by that is that it really responds in terms of pace when you start putting elements of pace in your work or you're trying to do a race. This can do it and this excels at that. You've got a very high uh, energy return midsole compound here in this shoe. And I think you'll enjoy it if you're looking for something that's going to give you that sort of, not explosive feel, but a nice sort of bounce back in your stride. This is what you're going to get from this shoe. Now, in terms of um, uh, stability, because this is an interesting point, I've had issues in the past with fuel cell in the TC and the RC being unstable. But because of the relatively low stack height in this shoe, I've had no real problems in terms of um, collapsing in. I do notice it a little bit on the easier stuff, but when I get after the work, if I'm like gunning it a little bit or getting into that pace work, I don't notice it, um, so I'm not collapsing in. So, But that is something to bear in mind in terms of the fuel cell. This is a very, very soft compound. Um, I don't know whether that's gonna come out in terms of how much you can see, but this is so squidgy um, and soft this material that they've used. It is super, super bounce back-ish, soft-ish, responsiveness-ish, a lot of issues. Um, but look, see what I mean? See where I'm going? Uh, let me give you an example. Hold tight. Uh, glide ride. We, oh, well, mind you, we know this is a, look, see, look, flight foam, it's not really doing anything. See, uh, another example. Um, Hoka, which is quite soft. Propel, like a little bit there, a little bit more give. But see the difference? Yeah? Hope that. Shows you clearly the differences in the midsole compounds. Um, but yeah, right, so, up-tempo daily trainer. Um, it works really, really well for me um, in those sort of 5K, 10K areas where I'm working between speeds, between effort levels. That's where I'm using it, and that's where I find it. it's got a good place in the rotation. I love the lightness of it. I really love the lightness of it. But I just, what caught me out to start with was just how much sort of, no, how lively it was. Do, do you know what I mean by lively? Let me know in the comments. It was just like an excitable teenager on my foot. That's the sort of thing that it, it was just, yeah, let's just go, let's just go, come on, let's go, let's do that, let's do that a little bit faster. It was that sort of feeling, that energetic, yeah, maniac on your foot. That's probably the way to describe it, in a daily trainer. Um, and, it's, and it's a fun shoe, and that's what I love about it, because you could, you could do pretty much, like I said a second ago, anything in it. So I know I get excited about shoes on this channel, and I appreciate that. Um, but this is a lot of fun, people. This is a very, very sort of uh, 
good time, uh, put a smile on your face, just go out and enjoy running shoe. Yeah, it's, it, it, it just makes you feel awesome. And, and that, that's the thing, I go back to my original point with, with shoes on the channel. Is it well priced? You know, is it good value? Is it cheap? Yeah, I think 120 pound is good value, right? Does it make you feel awesome? Yes. Is it lightweight? Yes. Well, there you go. So, they've created, I think, a winning combo here. Uh, I haven't really got anything bad to say about it. I'll be interested to see how the durability holds up down the uh, canal and tow paths. Be interested to see if I can, you know, take lumps and bumps out of this. But, you know, look at it. It's done well. It's done well so far down there. Um, yeah, I, I, can't, I haven't really got anything bad to say about it. Let me know in the comments. Is there any negatives that you have found in the, the Rebel 2? Uh, the only thing I can think of, maybe, is the sizing. You know, I said at the start, it's a bit snug. Maybe the, the lack of runners, not potential problems, but it's, it's say, the stack height, it's not really gonna give you too many issues. So, yeah, I haven't really got a bad thing to say about it at the moment. So I'll come back, people. I will come back a few weeks' time, um, see how we get on with it, report back. But yeah, Rebel 2, kind of digging it, people, kind of digging it.